Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, Jeremy Young Prodigy Kronix. Yeah, I think we've heard our first boos of the evening. They introduced Jeremy Young Prodigy Kronick, and the crowd started booing. I don't know if that's because they know him personally or if they're just in the corner of Kai Kelsher as we get ready for the title fight at 175. I think it's probably the latter. Um, Kai Kelsher has got a, a, a loyal fan base. Um, you know, the last time he jumped on top of the, the cage and had himself a beer after the fight, which didn't go over so well with the commission, but he got that all squared away. Uh, you know, he's fighting a very tough fighter, though, and, and Jeremy Cronick got a um, uh, United MMA, United Elite MMA, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a fight that um, Josh Derry said he's he's been focused on the, in, in the gym for, for months. So Kai's put in the work. I know Jeremy's put in the work. Uh, I think one thing you'll notice right away is there should be a significant size advantage. I think Jeremy will have three or four inches on on K on K Y. Kai making his Kai way Kelsey. to the blue corner. Kai Jelly Kasha. There's that big fan following that you were talking about as the fans come to their feet for Kai Jelly. Kelsher, as you call them, KY, just like KY Jelly, that's who Kai is. Kai Kelsher trying to gain his first strap at 175 pounds, taking on Kronik. And what do we know about Kai Kelsher? He's a very strong wrestler. You know, he's a guy that has been with the Chosen a Few gym for a few years now. He's dedicated to the gym, he's a great teammate. He's a guy that, uh, he's a character if you get to talk to him. He's, uh, he's, he's an absolute character. Usually he, he fights in the, in the Paps Blue Ribbon shorts. Tonight it looks like he's uh, switched up to uh, Magnum condoms. <laughs> so again, shows a little bit of his character. Uh, but he's a, he's a very, very strong grappler. I expect him to shoot in early and often and try and get this to the ground. Yeah, you talked as well about the beer in the cage and all of that. You know, that really flies if you're Stone Cold Steve Austin, but that's only in professional wrestling and not in the cage for MMA. <laughs> but a little unfortunate, but Kai had his moment with it as we check out the tail of the tape as a couple of inches there for Kronik over Kelsher, and we'll see if Kronik is able to use that to his advantage or not as the belt now All making right, its way into the cage the evening, as well. An amateur MMA title fight, three three-minute rounds. Brought to you by SUPS.com. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. This man weighed in at 175 pounds. Holds a record of three victories against two defeats. Fighting out of DeKalb, Illinois, representing United Elite MMA, Jeremy Young Prodigy Kronick. Standing across the cage, fighting in the blue corner. He also weighed in at 175 pounds. Holds a record of four victories against two defeat. Fighting out of Madison, Wisconsin, representing Chosen Few Jim, Kai Jelly Kasha. The big cheers Your for Kasha, the big boos for Kronik. Well, I tell you what, though, the young prodigy, Kronik, has handled it well as he was kind of feeding off of those boos, and some guys do. I mean, one of the things that I talked about with Gerald Mearshart, when you're not the hometown guy and you're going up against a hometown guy, you're going to have to feed off those boos, otherwise it can work against you. Yeah, for sure. You know, this is this fight is should be traditional martial artist, karate, taekwondo style versus the grappler. Um, let's just see. There we go. I, that's what we expected. 
Kalsher shooting in quickly. Kronik was showing off all of his Taekwondo moves before the fight even started. But the thing is, those don't work really well when your back is up against the cage or you're down on the mat. Yeah, and, and you look what Kai's doing right now. He's getting him down to the ground. He's, he's actually, he, uh, Kronik got out of it, but he does a very good job of trapping the legs. Uh, that's a la Khabib Nurmagomedov. Like to see that. Uh, already almost in the mount position. If he can scoot his butt off the cage. Kronik trying to get out of this early on as I think he definitely would like to get to his feet as he's taking a look at the big screen just to see positioning here with Kalsher again putting all of his weight right on top of him. A couple of blows in with that left hand by Kalsher as Kronik again trying to find a way out of this for Kalsher. He's in a very comfortable position. The culture looks phenomenal right now. Just every aspect of this grappling. Relentless. It would be actually, again, how he looks as well on the back of Kronik. And now might have the choke in as well. Kronik in a big spot here, big trouble as he got out of it temporarily. And again, Kalsher looking for that choke as a lot of chosen fight or chosen few fighters are apt to do. And Kronik again going down almost flat. That's a bad spot to be in. Yeah, as Kalsher this to now be stopped right down about blows. now. It's real close to being stopped. Ground and pound attack by Kalsher <laughs> looking for the belt. Kronik doing everything he can to hang on. Tom DeVildis looking in, the referee not yet stopping the fight. A minute to go in the round, though, and Kronik really in serious trouble. And that's all she wrote underneath the chin. Kronik in big trouble here. Kalsher oh, he could was not close hold on. to tapping right there. Could not get the tap, though, but man, oh man, it has been all Kalsher here in the first round. Kronik again in trouble, not trading blows with Kalsher. More left hands coming down from Kalsher, looking to get that belt right here in the first round. Kronik trying to hold on for dear life with 30 seconds to go. Armbar, armbar. Armbar now and again. Can Kronik hold on? Or maybe can Kalsher hold on to that armbar? As a good job getting out of it there by Kronik, getting back to his feet and then getting brought down right away by Kalsher. No, this, this is just, this is the definition of 10 8. A clinic of a round put on by Kai Kalsher in the first round of this title bout at 175 pounds. Round two coming up next. Replays from round number one. And Peter, we were talking about it in between rounds. That's a dominant round and one that on the judges' scorecards you think might not be just a 10-9 round. No, I, I think that's a, a clear 10-8 round. I mean, took him down multiple times, passed him out multiple times, threatened with submissions, was almost stopped. That was that was certainly a 10-8 in my book. Yeah, Kronig not able to mount any kind of offense at all. And so he did make it, though, to round number two. If you are Kronig, what do you got to do to keep Kalsher off you? <laughs> you know, that's that's the question, right? I mean, he was shown that in the first round he wasn't able to do that. He's got to keep, he's got to use his reach advantage. He can't be a stationary target. He can't stand flat-footed. He's got to be on his bike and hope that he can catch Kai coming in. Kronik again all smiles as round two. And you see the kicks attempted by Kronik, but to no avail as Kalsher just able to shoot the leg, get another takedown, and get in on Kronik, who just does not want to be on the mat. No, this is, this is classic KY. This is just, I mean, this is just domination. Absolutely, and a good job by Kalsher just to go chest to chest and not allow Kronik to breathe at all here in this fight. And again, trouble for Kronik. He just doesn't look comfortable from that position, almost to the point of, at times, being a little bit panicked. Yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, he's just, again, he, we're, in, we're in the full mount. We're less than a minute in, into the round. I don't know how much more Kronik can take. Kalsher imposing his will on Kronik here in this fight and early on in the second round. More blows, and now that neck got exposed once again. It looked like it was going to be a choke, but instead, some more hammer blows coming down from Kalsher. 
No, Karnak is doing just enough to get out of the way of, of eating that last uh, hard shot. And, and, and right here, it's a great scramble. He gets to his feet, but this is the story of the fight. Kai is just able to reverse position and get up and impose his will. Kalsher just won't give an inch for Kronik to either get up or gain any kind of separation at all. I mean, once he shoots the leg early on in the rounds like he did in round one and round two, he just is not letting up, and it's complete domination on the mat. Absolutely. Back to the mound again. And more blows coming in for Kronik. Kronik trying to use that cage, using his feet to try and get back up on his feet. But again, he sees like, seems like he's getting up for just a split second, and then Kalsher puts him right back down. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 the story of it. He's, he's, he's getting out, and then he's losing the, uh, the scramble position, and Kalsher gets back into a dominant position, and he's just eating. Good lefts by Kalsher. Shots to the face. And this is happening right in front of us right now. The referee telling Kronik, hey, man, you're going to have to move. You're going to have to do something here because there's really has been no offense by Kronik at all. Now, this is this is this reminds me of when Khabib fought. This is just smash. Just smash everybody. Kalsher again looking to make his way to that 175 pound title. When you see Kalsher fight like this, it's almost hard to believe that he's got two losses under his belt at this point because he really has been dominant. Yeah, absolutely. But Kai's another guy that's fought really stiff, tough competition, and I like that, especially in the amateur ranks. It's easy to get to uh, to the pro ranks undefeated if you're not fighting anybody. And and uh, some of these, the chosen few guys here, Kai and Sal Skiro, they're fighting really tough competition. So that's only going to strengthen their game as they go to the pro ranks. Good point is, in this sport, undefeated means you really haven't fought anyone yet. And so Kalsher dominant again in round number two. But Kronik still in it. We'll go to a third and final round from the Chosen Few Fighting Championships number 21 on TVW. Here's action from round number three and not much time on the feet in a striking pose for Kronik as Kalsher just shoots the leg, gets the takedown, and before you know it, he's raining down blows on Kronik. And really, when you take a look at Kalsher going into round number three, still looks pretty fresh, but you can look that way when you're not taking any shots. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, it was a repeat of the first round. Arguably another 10-8 round for Kai Kalsher. Um, I'm giving him two 10-8 rounds. Kronik, uh, yeah, I got to tell you, too, I'm kind of impressed at least where he's at right now for the damage that he's taken and as many shots as he's taken doesn't look the worst for wear. I mean, he still looks pretty fresh. Yeah, you know, he's coming out, he's, he's bouncing around. He's just, he's looking to land something, but Kai is just not giving him an inch. And he's got to watch it with those kicks, and there it is. I mean, he's just letting Kalsher get too close, and the, the kicks are fine and good, but maybe a jab or two would have served Kronik well there. Yeah, that's this is the polar, this is the power of the mullet. I'm telling you, <laughs> <laughs> love it. The mullet back in vogue in so many sports. There's baseball mullets, hockey mullets, and then you got the MMA mullet, which is another variation of it. Yeah, this is this is mullet mauling at its finest. Absolutely. As again, a familiar position for Kronik, either up against the fence or down on the mat. He has spent so little time on his feet. Kalsher now looking to mount Kronik once again. Kronik was trying to hold on to the neck, but you knew that wasn't going to happen. And now, once again, it's ground and pound time for Kai Kalsher. Kalsher using that left hand as well. Again, scoring repeatedly on Kronik. You know, in every round, he's been in the mount position in under a minute. Yeah, you know, and just in 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 for the next two minutes, he's just mauling him. It has happened quickly. It has happened often, and now trouble again for Kronik right here in front of us, looking for a way just to get Kalsher off of him for a second so that he can breathe and maybe get back to his feet. But Kalsher has just been relentless. Frustration is starting to set in on Kronik's face. He can see he's a little frustrated and. I get it, but this is a be a learning experience for me. He's going to learn that you know there's guys out here that can that can do this to him. So he's going to work on his grappling, um, and you know hopefully that uh, he comes back stronger. But your big sigh right there. Um, 
Kalsher working again. Look, right there, he locks the legs in. That's 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 Khabib 2.0. Kalsher looking for a queen, a clean sweep that is on his way to the 175 pound amateur title, continuing his dominant performance here in round number three. Kronik not mounting any offense at all. Can't even get that right hand free to land a shot or two. Kai being cheered on by the fans here as once that cowbell goes off I think they're going to make a lot of noise knowing that their fighters just 10 seconds away from a championship and here it comes. The crowd on cue excited for their fighter to be winning a strap. We think he's going to take that strap when we come back right here on TVW. Jelly, a bit of a mad dog here in this championship fight. Peter, he just did not let up in any round. Yeah, there was just there was not a single point in that fight where he was in any trouble. You know, he was just he was dominant from the opening bell to the ending bell. You know, I, I have a 10-8 first two rounds, 10-9 a third. Let's head back up to the cage and Ken Bostad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for these two fighters. After three hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Gabe Sabanis scores the contest 30-25, Kalsher. Larry Strzok, 30-27, Kalsher. And Mike Rogers, 30-27 for the winner. And new 175-pound champion, Kai Kelly Kalsher. All right. There were some 10-8 rounds in there for some judges. Did one of them end up 29-28? No, there it was 30-27, uh, 30-27, and then 30-25. Uh, okay, I all mean, right. I thought for sure there you was know, at least you, one, you maybe two 10-8 rounds. Jelly, Absolutely. 25 I could buy. Let's go up and hear from the new champ. Blue. Yeah, <laughs> makes a lot of sense. I get slippery when I'm wet, but <laughs> came in a little dry, which you can never do that. I'm sure you guys all know by experience, but... Yeah, Super Glue is a new name, I guess. Man, that was a great fight. You just, you wouldn't let him up. You just kept, uh, kept the pressure. Your hips were heavy. I mean, he kicked out a few times, but just in time enough for you to take him down again. Yeah, I don't know. I always, I always say I'm going to stand up. It never happens. I don't know what, why. Just you get, you think you're going to do some crazy crane kick back in the locker room, but you get out here and the lights and the noise hit you and you just kind of seize up and just do what you, uh, kind of relying and uh, feel comfortable doing. But it's, one's a win. Uh, just remember, this is a family-friendly show that's going to be on TV, so. Shoot. Shoot. All right, my friend, it was a pleasure to announce your fight. I look forward to seeing you again. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone here. Uh, it's probably gonna be my last, last fight here in a while. So uh, I appreciate everyone coming. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you to my teammates, parents, everyone who's just putting up with me over the years. Um, and I guess uh, after party at Essenhaus, we're going there right after this. All right, you new 175 pound champ. Thank you everyone again. <laughs> Big dreams, thank you. Kai Kalsher, your new champion at 175 pounds. Don't go anywhere. The pros are next.